Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is the Boss MD2 Mega Distortion Pedal. This is a schematic that I found on the Experimentalist Anonymous website. It's reverse engineered, so there's no guarantee that this is correct. And in fact, there are a few glitchy looking places on the schematic. There's the usual power stuff in the lower left, the standard boss electronic switching with this BJT based discrete flip flop and JFETs being used as switches. We won't worry about that. The core of the pedal consists of three op amp gain stages. This weird discrete stage here that I'll focus on in a little bit, a common emitter voltage buffer, and then a gyrator based tone control. So notice that I called this first stage here an op amp stage, even though you don't see this op amp symbol. This is basically a primitive op amp. So we have a differential input stage consisting of JFETs. So those will have high input impedance, just like the TL072 have high input impedance because of their JFET input stages. One of the outputs of that differential pair is taken to the base of this PNP transistor, which is hooked up as a common emitter amplifier. And the output of that, basically, you can imagine that this is feeding back into the negative input of the op amp. So the way to think about this is that this is like an op amp where you're used to seeing a triangle in a non-inverting amplifier configuration. And the gain of that configuration is being controlled by this gain boost pot. And the way to see that it's using negative feedback, besides the fact that this is meant to operate in some sort of linear-ish mode, so it has to be negative feedback, is that you have one inversion here, you have a second inversion here, and those two inversions cancel out. So we're going into the negative input, so it's negative feedback. The second stage is another non-inverting amplifier op-amp stage where the gain is controlled by this distortion pot. And the third stage is just this fixed inverting stage here that will have a gain of 22 over 10, so around two. Now, I'm not sure what of these stages are intended to just provide overall true gain or what stages are actually intended to hit the voltage limit at the output of the op amp and provide distortion. The fact that you see distortion here doesn't necessarily mean that this stage is distorting. You would have to analyze it in more detail to figure that out. It may be that this is indicating a certain amount of gain that causes later stages to distort. You would have to think about all of this more in order to figure that out. One thing I've always wondered about is this weird, discrete kind of op-amp stage. This shows up in a lot of Roland pedals. So if you have any insights about this, is this designed to impart some sort of special quality to the sound? Was it just cheaper to do this rather than buying another op-amp chip? I don't really know. I'm really fascinated by this. So if you have any insight, let me know. Anyway, what I want to focus on is this stage here. So this is like a complementary common emitter amplifier. So this is like a class AB configuration. Although I don't really recall seeing this too much with BJT transistors using this common emitter configuration in this complementary pair. I'm used to seeing complementary common collector configurations that are like a class AB emitter follower designed to be able to push current. And you'll see this, for instance, at the output of a lot of op amps. This is a Falstad simulation that one of my students in my guitar amplification and effects class made. I'll include the text for the simulation below. So you can just go to Falstad, say import from text, paste in that text, and you can play around with this yourself, try the different component values. I want to mention that I put a one mega ohm impedance here to have a ground reference. The actual emitter follower that follows this will have a lower input impedance, but I didn't sort through what all of that was. You can play around with this if you want. Anyway, this is for a one volt max signal, so that's two volts peak to peak. Let's see, I have this nice symmetric distortion. It's pretty much just lopping off the peaks. Let's see if I drop this to one volt peak to peak, which is 500 millivolts max. Ah, 
There we go. Okay, let's see. What happens if I drop this to 500 millivolts peak to peak? Ah, okay. Then you're just getting the sinusoid out without any clipping. Let's try 400. Okay, so that's 400 max. That's 800 millivolts peak to peak. Okay, so it's around around 500 millivolts max, which is one volt peak to peak is when you start seeing distortion here. Now, I will note that this looks symmetric, but probably in real life, there's some mismatches between the transistors, so it's probably a little asymmetric. I'm not really sure. I would have to go think about that more. Anyway, this is giving us some mostly symmetric distortion, so that's going to emphasize odd harmonics. And my guess is it's trying to kind of capture the vibe of a push-pull output stage of a tube amplifier, but I'm not really sure. If you have any insights about this, please leave a comment below. Also, have you played a mega distortion pedal? If so, please leave a comment below.